G'day May 40 here. So Australian shark is deadly shootout in rural town kills police officers. So two police officers were killed in a shootout at a property in rural Australia. Uh, we had a routine follow-up on a missing person report turned into an ambush, a lengthy siege. And this is highly unusual in Australia. So why were the police ambushed? Right, we don't really know yet, but uh, one of the figures who, in the ambush, right, Gareth Train, was a conspiracy theorist who believed the false claim that the Port Arthur massacre of 1996 in Tasmania, when an Australian gunman killed 35 people, prompted lawmakers to pass stricter gun laws. And he thought this was a false flag operation. So kind of Alex Jones conspiracy level thinking. So, yeah, I, I believe that uh, conspiracy thinking, conspiracy narratives can lead to you know, terrible behavior, but it's never going to be the primary cause of crime because I, I don't think people you know, buy into conspiracy theories or you know, these far-fetched narratives unless they are predisposed to do so. Right? A narrative can't take you anywhere you don't want to go. So when people are failing at life and they're looking for ways to feel special and superior to others, conspiracy theories can be highly appealing. So I'm not a fan of Alex Jones. I don't have a problem, or a big problem anyway, with social media companies censoring him or banning him from their platforms. You know, what he, he did to all the families of the Sandy Hook killing how they got harassed by Alex Jones listeners who tried to convince them it was a false flag operation. So I don't like that part of the dissident right or the dissident left, but, uh, but it overwhelmingly comes from the dissident right that immediately claims after a mass shooting that it was a false flag operation. I don't know any mass shooting in Australia or in the United States is a false flag operation. And so it's unfortunate that many people get red-pilled and notice that the, the media and elites and teachers and academia have been lying to them about certain things. They then extend that to the media is lying to them about everything. And uh, it's not true. Uh, we never get to graduate from having to understand everything in this particular context and to seek out multiple sources of information to understand things that are said and done critically. But uh, the media is not you know, just constantly lying to you about mass shootings. They're, they're not false flag events. But the, the conspiracy thinking behind this, these are false flag effects, yeah, probably leads to some unfortunate crimes and some self-destructive spirals that people go into. But it does not account to even 1% of, of murders in a country. Right? Compared to the massive amount of damage that the Black Lives Matter movement has done, to stimulate a massive increase in murder and crime and traffic and pedestrian deaths in the United States. Uh, the, the increase in deaths due to these wacky false flag conspiracy theories are absolutely minute.